What is going on, football fans out there? And today we're going to talk about the uh, Madden Deep Dive trailer where they're introducing some old features for us old heads, for you younger lads out there. A lot of this is going to look very new and it's going to be a lot cleaner than when it was presented to us years ago. But without further ado, let's get into a quick breakdown of the Mad Deep Dive. Now, one of the things that it seems like the key word is physics. They're talking about physics-based tackling. The tackling does look a lot better in Madden, but if you've been playing EA College football, you will notice a lot of these same things, and this is not a bad thing. This is starting to show a little bit of evolution and the thought process of how they are approaching the game. I'm going to look at this year in football as ground level for all developers, even though EA has been in the game for a long time. But as you can see for, I want to say for once, but it looks like they're bringing back to where there's a little bit of momentum involved in their uh, physics based tackling and it's going to add a little bit of variation to the game. And right here, it shows that all of these factors matter, but they kind of don't. This is, EA does this stuff very well, but they really need to go a little bit deeper if they want this to be a true simulation style football game and not a casual arcade type mix simulation game for, you know, what it is. Um, you can't deny that the game the game looks good. The cuts look good. It looks like, uh, you know, what we had last year with a little bit of improvement. And that's all that we can really ask for. But once again, I will say they are bringing back things that we already had. And I like this with the uh, the new boomstick. A lot, it might be uh, missed upon a lot of people. The boomstick is a little bit of a homage to Mr. John Madden himself, who always used the word boom and all of the old Maddens. Uh, hopefully this works out well. I like the approach, you know what I mean? If it's not a perfectly timed hit stick, you might miss. If it's perfectly timed, you're stopping a guy right in his tracks. And this is what I was talking about earlier with the uh, ball carrier balance system. This is going to add uh, even better dynamic to the game. And it's just all about if they can finally nail down the logic that we could finally have a, you know, a decent game. This game's going to have uh, bugs just like any game does. But I like what they're doing here. I will definitely uh, applaud them for that. The presentation, like always, it, it you know, it, it looks good, looks fluid. Now, this is one thing that I wanted to talk about here in this video or a third deep dive. Listen to what he says. Blocking adjustments before right, the snap. That's cool. For the first time ever, visual cues will highlight each offensive lineman's specific target play art. Play art, did you hear as that? As well as how this will change not based on the blocking scheme. Not assignment. Defenders not play accounted art. for will be marked with the hot defender icon. So players can decide who to block and who to strategically throw hot off of. Now here, here's new where it gets hilarious. Logic, Listen to along this. Along with hundreds of new blocking animations, naturally boosts engage pressure to form the pocket more authentically, so quarterbacks can step up to make clutch blocking throws. Blocking animations. Is right. So this is what Madden gives us. This is what Madden gives us. Play art and animations. There's nothing about assignment. There's no alignment, no assignment. So if you think for a second that when this game does what it does, when blocks don't happen, when you have clumps of people trying to find animations, uh, yeah, that's what it is because there's no actual logic. It's pixels on a field trying to follow play art, not follow assignments or what they're supposed to be doing related to football, but play art. And this is something that football games as a whole needs to get away from. It's not all about the play art. It's about how these players, these digital players, carry out their assignments. What kind of logic is inside of these digital players that we have on the field? Does he know where he's going to, or is he, is he just following a live play art 
and it doesn't matter what happens on his way there. There's no avoidance. There's nothing. But you need to have these players with logic. They know their assignment. They're trying to get to that guy. They are tracking him. That's the kind of dynamic offense and defensive line play we need to evolve the actual virtual gridiron. No bullshit. Now, let's just talk about overall presentation and how the game looks. There's nobody that is even on the same level as far as EA about putting out a very good looking football game. And what I was talking about before is just some of the things that are missing to take this game to the next level. And I think that's what makes everybody so angry because we're back here again. But follow me on this. Maybe we are in a new era of football and moving forward, this game will start to improve. Yeah, the Frostbite engine has its flaws, but maybe they are uh, cooking up something in the background and laying the foundation for a new era of competitive football games. And I know you guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about Maximum and everything else, but this is good for the market. College football's back. Madden does look a lot similar to college football. And honestly, I'm just going to keep it 100. I don't I don't care that it's a uh, Madden reskin. You can only do so much with a football game. But the one thing that they need to fix inside of their football game is the logic and fundamentally how a football game operates. You just can't have line art on a field and just send them on their way. There's all kinds of things that happen. There's responsibilities for everybody that's on that field. And the developers are going to have to start taking the time to understand these positions in the nuances of football. It's just not this guy's fast, this guy's big, this guy's strong, this guy follows that line. And he has a whole bunch of animations attached to it. Now it's gonna have to be a little bit more complex than that. But I have hope for Madden this season. Hopefully it moves ahead a little bit and going forward, we continue to see improvement. But until next time, it's been Smoking Jay and I will see you either in the ring or on the field.